Hi, I'm Jim, and you're watching Rick Conti's Corvette Vlog. Look at that blue sky, you guys. Don't look at this morning face. <laughs> Welcome to my Corvette channel. Yeah, we're getting started early in the morning on Tuesday. Not just saying that, this really is Tuesday morning. And because I got a little bit of a shorter segment for you on Tech Tuesday, we're gonna give you a bonus clip, and that is a real-time send-off of Sonny's car going to New York. The truck driver's waiting out back. But before we do that, I just wanna give acknowledgement to our other great Corvette customers that are waiting. Weather-wise, oh my gosh, this is gonna be the perfect fall week here in Ohio mid to upper 60s, probably touching 70 toward the end of the week. This car is going to Pete in Florida. I wish the sun was on it. You could really show off that Zeus bronze. Beautiful 3LT dipped interior, waiting on some accessories. Gary has been more than a gentleman down in North Carolina. He's been waiting and waiting for accessories so we can get his car prepped and shipped down there. There they are, those two-tone red and black seats. Speaking of which, Skip from Georgia, great past customer of ours. His car just arrived, waiting on some accessories. We'll show off his convertible as soon as it's prepped. And there's those, I don't know if you can see them through the window. Two-tone, red and black GT2 seats. Another good past customer of ours, Susan from California, waiting on accessories, including the black Trident wheels. In fact, that's one of our questions today on Tech Tuesday. And here's Sonny's car going to New York. I bet he thinks this day would never come. I mean, seriously, the conversations we've had over the year, over a year, wow, man. I want to show you something in here. GM started to do this on the 1LT. What an incredible package here. All this, look at this, this 1LT with red stitching because he went with the red interior. And what I love, if you don't get carbon fiber dash, this piece right here is going to be black. And, I, and they started to do it on the 1LT, see? The Bose emblem here is in black, where on your two and three LTs is a different color. So I wish that they would make it an option or just finish it. This piece here that goes all the way across and over on the uh, passenger side where the glove box is, make that in the same black. I think that would just add a bolder look to the interior of the car. That gives you aftermarket guys an idea. Just make this this. Yeah. Okay. I got to give this over to the truck driver. Let's show you what Sonny ordered and we'll be back for the send off, Pat. Sonny. It's the moment you're waiting for. Well, kind of. Yeah, the send-off, Pat, you're waiting for it to be in your driveway. Thanks for your business and your support of the channel. Thanks for hanging in there, buddy. Really do appreciate that. Just got to realign you here. If Sonny, a send-off, Pat, to New York. Congratulations, man. Now, usually I say, hey, last on, first off. This doesn't apply here. As you can see, the truck is empty. Well, he's got to go to Chicago, pick up a couple race cars to go to Maryland, and on the way back to Maryland, then this car will be dropped off in New York. shipping industry guys. Oh this is cool. Look at your car. This is a race car. Yeah that's a race car right there boys.
Yeah, Pete in Florida, I'm in your car. Man, I don't like them sitting here any longer than they have to. Uh, I appreciate you joining us for Tech Tuesday. Good to be back. I apologize. I don't have my buddy Chuck with me. Uh, he's extremely busy in service with used car inspections, other things that are going on with the new Corvettes, uh, trying to get those done and just trying to finish up this year and get this... Um, get this 2020 over with. <laughs> Thanks for the questions, you guys. We'll do a lot more next week, a little bit shorter show today. A question came in here from John Madden. He says, Rick, I've seen some of your vlogs where the customers have had those black Trident wheels, like the one we said is waiting for Susan's car. He says, what happens to the standard wheels that are delivered on the C8? What does the customer do with them? Do you ship them with the car? So what happens with all that? So remember, if you order the pewter open spoke wheels or the black Trident wheels, those are accessory wheels. So you have to de mount the standard wheel, remount the tire, and then those wheels are put in a box. Many times, because we do shipping with you guys all across the country, uh, the trucking companies are very kind and allow us to put those boxes in the truck and then deliver to the house. If not, then we just box them up and UPS them to the house. But you guys own those tires, uh, the rims rather. And I've heard some people say, well, the dealer told me that I don't keep those rims. Well, you guys are getting put together. The guy's probably gonna sell those on the side. No, those standard rims or whatever standard rims you order, plus the accessory rims, you guys own them both. So keep that in mind. You can do whatever you want with them. Most of the customers, I don't think they know what to do with those rims. I mean, many times they'll sell the wheels or they'll keep them for an extra set and put other tires on there, depending on their driving situations. If they're doing some tracking, maybe they'll use that set. Hey, that'll be my track set. So there's a number of things that you can do because those are your rims. Jeff, thanks for watching the channel and, or John rather, uh, thanks for watching the channel and thanks for the question. Uh, here's one from Ken Logston. He says, Rick, uh, if you haven't done so already, can you give us a quick tutorial on the Z mode on the C8 Corvette? I love the Z mode. Here's what it sounds like opened and closed. <laughs> That's only if you would program the Z mode to open when you push that button on your steering wheel. Let's show you how to do that. Okay, and actually before I show you how to set up the Z mode, real quick, if you guys can see it okay, let's show off this beautiful 3LT dipped interior on the hardtop convertible for Pete in Florida. Wow, it wraps all the way back there too, guys. This is your microfiber suede, Alcatara as they call it. Look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> guys getting dizzy all right we'll show off this car more uh, in the future as soon as we get all the accessories and we get her prepped okay setting up your z mode make sure you're in the home button and then go to your settings and the z mode is probably my favorite feature on the car it's located right to the left hand side of the steering wheel i mean i don't mind changing things here in the mode selector but the z mode allows you to change especially if you have a z51 car or something equipped with magnetic ride control to change five different settings in the setup of the car from engine sound the steering feel your suspension this is powertrain, that's your accelerator response, and your brake response. You can change the feel of all that. So once you set it up here, when you push this button on the side of the steering wheel, it'll be whatever your defaults that you chose to set. Now, keep in mind on C8, unlike C7, you cannot independently just open up the exhaust and leave it as such. There's a couple of ways you can do that. I mean, you can open up the performance exhaust right here at the mode selector, but remember, by doing that, you've got to turn this to sport or track. And even if you don't have magnetic ride control, you're gonna change setup of the car from brake feel, steering feel. Uh, we'll change all that just to get the engine sound. So what I like to do for a lot of you, when I ship the cars out, I'll come in here, powertrain, I'll set that up to touring, to select one, it's asking me to apply the changes here. Okay, I'm gonna come over to steering, I'm gonna change that to touring, suspension, I'll change that to touring, and brake response, we'll change that to touring, and engine sound, yes, I leave that on track. So you just tap one, whatever one you want. 
And usually I like to coincide that with a memory too if you've got a memory package. But what's nice for you folks that want just engine sound and you don't want to compromise the feel or the suspension of the car or the accelerator response or the brake response, just by having that open, you can tap this on your steering wheel and uh, you guys probably couldn't hear that right now, but I can hear it a little bit. And more importantly, in the C8 car, you're really not going to hear it so much inside the car. It's designed to be open, but it'll sound very good on the outside of the car. And maybe hear a little bit more when you accelerate, but that's a great way to do that. So if you want just engine sound, you can do that at your fingertips. Now, when you turn the car off and turn it back on, this will not be on. It'll go back to your default, so you actually have to tap that every time that you want the engine sound to be on, if that's what you so choose. What I like to do if I'm driving, and the Z mode is really, I think, more intended for track guys. So if you're on track and you know how the setup of the track is, hey, I want my, my brake response to be this, I want my accelerator to be this, my suspension to be as such. But what I like to do is when I'm going through the mountains, going down to Bowling Green, is I'll change the steering to sport I'll keep the suspension and touring so the steering will be just a little bit tighter but doesn't compromise the suspension. I don't change my brake or my accelerator feel but I always keep that engine sound in track. Here's another thing that you guys can do. Go into my mode. Same type of thing. So you only have four settings here rather than the five that you have in the Z mode. Again, the Z mode was more intended to be that performance option. Boom, you're on track. Hit that. Bam. It's everything that you want. But same thing here. You can set up brake response, suspension feel if you have the magnetic ride control, which is now an independent option if you don't get Z51 in 2021. Steering feel and engine sound. So I'll come over here to track mode. And I'm still in touring. So what I got to do now is turn this to the left to the my mode and you'll know you're in my mode just for a second because you'll see a little person icon and there's my mode and then the engine just opened up but I didn't change any of the other feeling of the car so a couple of ways that you can do that again rather than turning this just to open up the exhaust if you do it with the Z mode as we were just showing you I think that's a more fun way to go but you've got such great customization to the feeling of this car you guys play around with this uh, get some different feel for the car and if you're on an open road and you've got a car with magnetic ride control turn your dial get an idea how this all feels and see if that's something that that works for you as far as how you want the car to handle just be warned if you're in the track mode i always tell guys track is for track man that's very very heavy an accelerator suspension steering feel track is for the track and that's something that you may want to stay away from all right you guys one more for you here on tech tuesday because my glasses are about to fall apart but if you have a question on how to fix or use something on your corvette please email chuck and myself at the email address up on the screen i do appreciate that some great looking cars coming up in the ride segment don't go anywhere this one comes in from jeff server he says rick a serious question because he lives in california bought a car from us and he says how do i find a certified corvette specialist as far as a technician in my area it's actually a good question and unfortunately i've already heard of some situations where you guys have taken a car that you bought elsewhere not necessarily just from us but you bought out of your area and brought it into your local dealership for service and they had a corvette technician there and they've denied you service Number one, that's wrong, man. That's what's great about the Chevrolet Corvette. We've got such a broad dealer network. If they're getting C8 Corvette or if they've gotten C8 Corvettes, they have a certified Corvette technician. That's a requirement, part of our training, just to get allocation. But the best way to see if that's somewhere where you wanna go, go into the place. Don't call there. Go in and talk to the service department, not sales. You'll get a different story if you go to the sales department because they're going to be upset that you bought out of the area. But you guys know what this is all about. Go to the service department. Talk to either the service writer or the service manager. And most of you guys have pretty good instinct. When you're talking to someone, you can tell if you're getting a line of bull. If you feel uncomfortable at that conversation, then that's not a place that you want to take your car. So I would say scope that out first. Let them know, hey, I live in the area. I have my other vehicle serviced here. I had to buy this car because of availability. And they should understand that. And here's the thing. Sales is sales. Service is service. They get paid to work on your car. It shouldn't be a problem. So investigate that in person. I wish you guys a lot of luck. That's a good question. Thanks again for watching, guys. I do appreciate that. Yep, I think these glasses are toast. Hey, I don't know if you guys had a chance to see it yet or not. Our Sunday Coffee with Conti show, a fun show, shorter show than normal, but in there, there's an opportunity for you guys to win this beautiful Generations banner, like a big mural on fabric, six foot by eight foot. It'll come with a metal mounting frame. 
Uh, the only way to enter that contest is on that particular video. A lot of great guesses. I think by the time that we actually do the drawing, I bet that we have over a thousand entries. And like I said, this is a fun one. They're all over the place. Don't forget that there's Corvette logos in the back of the headrest. So that's two that you may not have thought about. Submit those guesses. Don't tell people where you're looking. Don't give it away. Just put your answer down below. If you're a subscriber of the channel, then we'll draw that on our Sunday, November 22nd, Coffee with Conti show. So keep those coming in. Watch that video. There's a link down below in the description, or we'll put one of those little card thingies if you've got the app. Which side? It would go on this side, I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, check that out, you guys. I know everybody was busy over the weekend. Not as many views there as I thought there would be, but that's a fantastic prize. That was something special that myself and the dealership wanted to share with you guys for our recent milestone here on the channel. So thanks again for that. So now, as we close every Tuesday, I got, we didn't get a chance to do it last week. I'm going to show you some great looking cars, your cars, your beautiful rides. But what is today? Today's voting day. A lot of sensitivity on this. I'm not going to talk into politics. I will just say this, that whatever the outcome of the presidential race, let's remember that we're in America. Let's be Americans. Let's be kind to each other. Let's not tear each other down. Let's move forward and just make things better. We've got such a great opportunity in this country. No matter who's there, remember that, you guys. It starts with us, okay? So, um, yeah, that's all I want to say about that because there's been rumors and there's been such a media bias on, on just carving us up to get us scared. Uh, we control that. So don't fall into that trap. Whatever happens, okay? Be a smart, be a good American, just be a good person, all right? Yeah. So anyways, part of that disclaimer is because the first two pictures you're going to see in the ride segment, I don't want to hear it. Don't make a comment. I can't believe you showed a Trump picture, Rick. I can't believe you showed a Biden picture, Rick. Uh, we're showing both sides, so everybody's happy, right? Okay. Check them out now. Some great looking cars. They are your beautiful rides. I'll see you guys soon. And I didn't understand that you 